Sunday, May 2nd, and we're back up here. Today we are going to be installing uh, the belt crank brackets for the ailerons and for the flap. So we're going to get those installed, brought up some drop cloth. We're going to see if it'll fit over that wing just to keep some of the dust off of it. Brought up some floor mat things to stand on when we're here. Um, found these at the house. We had used them for another deal several years ago and thought, hey, maybe we'll bring these up and see if they work a little bit to walk on and stuff while we're over here working at the tables. So we'll get that stuff set up and we'll see how far we get once we get those uh, belt crank belt crank assemblies installed. Something to note when you're putting the belt crank assemblies on for the flap, be sure when you're mounting it to put the, the aileron cable block, get that oriented the right way. The long end goes, it butts up against the rear spar. So when you bolt this up, it, it basically holds, it, it lines everything up. So everything will line up here um, with this up against the rear spar we had to use a washer in that gap right there for that mount piece for that bolt. 
but that can be a little bit of a gotcha. Uh, when we did the other wing, I had this flipped around so there was a big gap in here, then realized it was on the wrong way, so I had to, uh, and I, these are loose right now. So if you do put it on backwards, you can just take these, take these nuts out or take this one out, you know, pull it off, turn it around, slide it on, and then bolt it back in. Um, we had to do that on the other side, but actually remember to do it this time correctly. Well, I managed to get a little DNA on the airplane. I was doing, uh, I think it must have been when I was doing either safety wire or maybe I caught it on that, caught it on that shim right there. I might have scratched it, but a little DNA on the airplane. Here's an example of a piece that, we're, that we fabricated. Um, you may have seen this when we did these on the other wing. I had to do three, four of those on the other wing. Um, this one we're just doing the one. Uh, this is for the near the wing tip for the wiring for the landing light. And we'll put a nylon uh, snap uh, grommet in here. But uh, this is a, I just cut this out of a piece of 40,000th, flat 40,000th. Um, and I made, had made a little template from those previous uh, three that I did. I already had the holes in there. This is a half inch hole. And then I drilled these to uh, a number 30. Um, did the stress reliefs on the, on the edges there. And then we put in a sheet metal break and uh, put a 90 in it. There you go, it's a little fabricated piece. Done for the day, and uh, we got our things accomplished that we wanted to get done. Got those bell crank assemblies mounted, bolted in, safety wired, locked tight, um, you name it. Did the flat bell crank, aileron bell crank assembly, installed the serrated grommet for the two root inner, uh, well the inner root rib and the, I guess I call it number two rib. Um, got that super glued in there, got a clamp on it where the two edges meet. Uh, did that on both of those. So those are gonna cure for a little while. And did that piece I just showed you with the 40 thousandths for the, um, the hanging, what do we call it, a hanging tab? Hanging, hang tab for the uh, landing light wiring. Now that's all we got done so far today, but it was actually quite a bit that we got done. So, what's next? Next is the cable. cable? Oh, aileron, aileron cable. Teleflex cable for the flaps. Uh, we'll get those installed up next time. Installing our hang tab. And we'll install that. Um, we've got, um, we have to re, uh, resize or, well, uh, step drill the holes for all of the mm -hmm. wiring grommets that are in the ribs. We'll get those done. But um, that's, that's all we got done today. We've got a little bit, 
Although we have a little bit left. A little bit left. 90% done, 90% 90 to go. Um, yeah, if, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. So thanks for watching. Um, questions or comments, please let me know. And that's it for now.